Hey everyone, it's Kitty and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is super exciting for me. I'm super excited to share this with you. So today I'm gonna be sharing what's on my Sephora Loves Us for 2018. I did this in 2017 in the new year, so I'm gonna do it again. I don't know if I'm posting this close to the new year. Probably not because it's been a busy month, but I'm gonna try and upload this in January and not February and try to get this up as soon as I can for you. But I'm super excited about this and stuff. I'm super excited to be filming this for you and everything like that. I'm super excited to show you what's on my loves list and I think I'm gonna just do a screen recording this time instead of doing like popping it on the screen just so I can show you my screen and stuff like that I just think it'll be easier this way and all that kind of fun stuff so you're gonna be seeing my computer screen in a second here and I'm super excited to be filming this though and showing you what's on my loves list I have a lot of my loves list and I kind of want to declutter it honestly too so if you want to see that video let me know down below because I don't know if I'm gonna purchase some of these things I don't know but yeah I'm super excited to be filming this for you and all that kind of fun stuff. So if you want to see what's on my Sephora loves list, you're in the right place. Just keep on watching. Okay, so here is my Sephora loves list. I'm just going to give you a quick view by scrolling. So yeah, that's my Sephora loves list. I'm going to go through each product and kind of tell you about it and kind of just show you it and tell you why it's on my loves list. So the first one is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Eyeshadow Palette. This one retails for about $49 and this is kind of what they look like. Like I'm sure you've seen this before just because this is all over YouTube honestly like everybody I feel like has this palette besides me and yeah so like it says there are 18 shades in the palette from peachy pinks to corals to bronzes to purples at first I was like I'm not getting this palette like I won't like it because I don't know I'm not like into the super peachy tones but I feel like I might like this because they're not like all peachy so you have some bronzes pure a is so pretty and you just have so many pretty shades so I put this on my wish list for this year, but I don't know if I'm going to buy it. I've gotten a lot of palettes recently for Christmas, and I've also like spent my money on a lot of palettes this year, so I don't know if I'll actually buy it, but that is on my loves list. So the next thing that's on here is the Smashbox Cover Shot Eyeshadow Palette, and I believe this one is in a blaze. So yeah, this is in a blaze, and I don't know, the colors in here just look really pretty, like how you get a matte, and then you get a bunch of shimmers. They look kind of of different and everything and I don't know it's like a small palette this palette that came out with Shay Mitchell last year it retails for $29 which I don't think is bad and gets pretty good for a palette and it seems like a good size I'm probably gonna hold off for a while and everything I don't think I'll get it right away so next I have this little I guess like trio sample size travel set with me this is the Smashbox drawn and decked out travel set primer set so this is limited edition still on there and it's $22 but it's a $48 value. You get a sample size of the photo finish foundation primer which isn't my favorite but I would use it if I had it. And then you get a sample of the photo finish pore minimizing primer which I've always wanted to try and the travel of the photo finish primer water which I love. It's just so moisturizing and I kind of put this on here is maybe maybe I would get it. So the next thing has been sold out for weeks and that is the Stila one step rhyme i tried the one step correct and i really like that so i decided to put this on here this retails for 36 dollars it has all five star reviews note that it does have seven reviews so i don't know how accurate that is but this is supposed to be like a lightweight serum prepping primer thing it's supposed to prep prime and condition and smooth your skin and it has a bunch of vitamins and minerals in it and it just seems like such a nice primer and I might purchase it like I don't know during a sale or just sometime. So the next thing that I have on my Sephora loves list is the Clinique Moisture Search Intense Skin Fortifying Hydrator. This is $39 which I think is so expensive but I have dry skin right now and I just really am eyeing something that will really keep my face hydrated and everything and I don't know I really want something that is going to hydrate my skin and really make it look you know nice and everything and this is so pricey so I'd probably try to get a sample before buying the full size but it just looks so nice and I feel like it'd be a very nice moisturizer. The next thing I put on here is a Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. This retails for $28. <laughs>
and I feel like, I don't know, I've wanted to try this so many times. The first time I got like a sample of it, like a foil packet and the shade was so off. The second time I tried to get through Sephora through like deluxe sample, they sold out of my shade. So I don't know, I have to figure out what my shade is and maybe I'll get it for myself sometime. Then the next thing is the Milk Makeup Cooling Water. This is $24. It seems gimmicky, but I feel like it really hydrates your skin. You could put it in the fridge and you could put it on your skin and make it feel nice. So the next thing I want to try and want to buy that's on my Sephora Loves list is some of the stale glitters. I have two. I have Kin Karma and Rose Gold Retro. So these are more that I want to try. So this one that I want to try is called Gypsy. This is a mid-tone lilac with magenta and pearl. And by the way, those all retail for about $24. This one looks very similar to that one. And this one is in the metallic finish and those ones are in the glitter finish and this one's in sea urchin. I might pick one over the other just because the colors do look so similar. I don't know if they do swatched but online they look pretty similar so I might just pick one over the other. This one's in smoky storm. This is like a pewter and silver color. This one's in smoldering satin which is a deep tan and silver. This one I can tell you is in the gold shade which this one is in the silver shade which I really want and then this one. This one is the shimmer and glow. And these are the shimmer finishes instead of glitter and glow. This one's in kitten which I would love and I also really like the look of cloud. And yeah I believe those are all the steel glitters that I've been eyeing so yeah. Okay so the next thing that I have my eye on is this jelly mask from First Aid Beauty. This is the Hello Fab Ginger and Turmeric vitamin C jelly mask. This retails for $32 and you get a top of it. This is supposed to be good for all skin types. This is supposed to be especially good for dryness and redness and just evening out texture of your skin. And I'm currently on Accutane and I have dry skin so I thought this might be something cool to try. It might be good for me so I'm curious about it but I don't know if I'll actually purchase it honestly. So next are the Tarte Color Splash lipsticks. This is from the Rainforest to Sea collection. I actually already have bought two of these but I do want to get more and everything. So the two that I have are Salt Life and then I also have the nude color which is like so I have this one which is Salt Life it's like a mauve gray color and then I also have a nude which is Rum Punch and then I'm really interested in some of these like dark nude colors. I wouldn't mind getting coral. I actually really have Surf's Up it's a mauve. Some of these berries are kind of cool and I really like these because they're like a demi matte kind of finish but they feel very nice on your lips. They're not too drying. Okay so next I have the Too Faced Sweet Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss and I have mine in Pure Peach and I really want to get another one of these because this is my favorite lip gloss. Non-sticky, very creamy which I loved. The next one is from First Day Beauty. This is the Hello Fab Coconut Water Cream and this is supposed to just be a nice moisturizer. I feel like it has a nice creamy finish and it just looks very interesting to me. I love the coconut smoothie priming coconut line line from First Aid Beauty. It's really nice. The next one is from Glam Glow and this is their multi-masking treatment set. So you get a bunch of their masks and this is great for all skin types. Let's see, what do you get? You get the Super Mud Clearing Treatment, you get the Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment, you get the Firming Treatment, the Hydrating Treatment, the Brightening Treatment, and the Dual Cleanse Treatment. So I feel like this would be so cool to try. Now, do I love Glam Glow's masks than any other brand? Not necessarily, but I would love to try one of their stuff. And I feel like $39 is kind of expensive, but Glam Glow is expensive. So yeah, maybe I will try this, get the set. I don't know. It's not limited edition that I know of, but it could sell out. So next, I want another highlight. And if my mom's watching this, but she would be like, Katie, you do not need another highlight. I'm obsessed with highlighters. I just, I wanted this highlight. I believe it might've been on my list for last year. I have no idea. But this is the Dandelion Twinkle Highlight. And this is $29. And it's just a very sheer highlight from Benefit. And I just, I don't know. I'm obsessed with highlights. I always love trying a new highlight and I feel like this one would be so good so I kind of want to try it. I don't know like if we're things about it but I'm actually kind of happy with drugstore highlights at the current moment but I feel like that would be such a great highlight. So next I have the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette on my loves list and I just got the Tarte Toasted palette and I'm obsessed with that and I think it's very similar to this but they also have different tones and different colors to them and just with the looks of it these colors look 
gorgeous and I don't know I might have to get this maybe towards the end of the year. I might actually try to get it like secondhand like on Poshmark or something like that because $54 for a palette and I'm not really feeling that price. Okay so the next thing is also a palette but it's a face palette and this is the Tardis Pro Glow Highlight and Contour Palette. Now I'm not really one to contour but I've been really into it recently. Like I got into it within the last year. I have a drugstore contour palette which I do like. I think it's very nice but I don't know if I actually need it need it but this is nice because you get four highlights in this. You get lit, fire, stunner, strobe and then you get I think a powder and a cream contour and I don't know I've been eyeing this for a while so maybe I will purchase it this year. But I don't know it just seems like a nice palette and again I'm a highlighter queen. So the next two things I believe were on my Sephora Loves List last year so I'm just going to briefly talk about them. The first one is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain Liquid Lipstick. This is $14 and go watch my video last year for the ones I'm interested in because I can't quite remember. I'm still interested in these but I don't know. I have a lot of lipsticks so again I want to weed through things before I start buying more. But yeah I still am interested in these because they seem nice. And then the next one is the Smashbox Cover Shot Eyeshadow Palette. I believe this one is in Golden Hour and I have a sample of this right now and it's nice. It's it's nice, but yeah, I probably won't buy this. If I buy it, it's going to be towards the middle. To the end of the year, I'm trying to use the makeup I already have and not buy any more. I'm trying to go on no buy, kind of. Like, I'm trying to use what I have, use some things up before I start buying things. Of course, I'll buy my essential things, but I'm not going to be buying too much makeup, especially eyeshadow palettes when I have too many. So yeah, this is $29, like I said, for the other one. And yeah, this is another one I'm interested in, but I probably, if I purchase it, it won't be for a while. And yeah, this is everything that it's on my Sephora loves list. Probably will add through it throughout the year, but as of now, I'm not going to do that. So yeah, that's everything that's on my Sephora loves list. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment down below letting me know what's on your Sephora loves list. I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to know what's on your loves list and what you want to buy this year. And yeah, I'm super excited. Honestly, there were things that were on my loves list, but I took them off because I bought them. I caved. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe if you haven't already because I post videos every single week. I post beauty and lifestyle videos usually every Friday and any other days I feel like posting if I have bonus videos you know what I mean and yeah hit the notification bell and all that kind of fun stuff and yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye